If you haven't used a hard drive before, here's a quick little walkthrough that can guide you step by step. First, you're going to want to plug in and register your new hard drive. I recommend giving your hard drive a name, like your last name or maybe your last name plus the year that you purchased the hard drive. Just in case you were to get more in the future, you can keep things nice and organized on your end. And you'll know which one it is as soon as you plug it in and it pops up on your desktop. Create one folder in that main drive to import your images into. You're also want to going to give this a name. So for example, Lauren's photos. Next, you're going to want to plug in the source of your photo. So whether it's your camera, your memory card, or your cell phone, you're going to want to plug that into your computer until it pops up on the screen. Use your method of preference to import those images into that new folder you just named in step number two. I recommend using the image capture application on your Mac, or you can just drag and drop either on your Mac or on your PC to keep things simple. You're going to want to import all the images since your last backup into that same folder from step number two, or if you haven't done this before, you're going to want to make sure that you're bringing all of the images you have stored in various places onto your hard drive so that you have a complete backup of everything from your history. This might take a little while if you haven't done it before, so make sure you give yourself enough time to make sure all of your images from the past or from your last backup are safely on your hard drive before you end up closing out the folder. So now that all of your images are on your hard drive in one folder, the next big step is to organize your images. So a couple of tips and tricks for that. I will admit that it could be a little bit overwhelming if you haven't done this before. So you have all of these files in your main folder, you want to make sure you organize them in a way that makes sense to you. If you don't have enough time to do this right off the bat, make sure you take some time in the coming weeks to break it up into sections and tackle them one little piece at a time so until they're all organized. Click into that main folder of your hard drive. Lauren's photos like we've named it before and begin creating subfolders within it. I recommend doing this in a way that makes the most sense to you. First example could be by date. Example, July 2020 or December 2019. The next way you could label your folders is by the event name. For example, Hannah's first birthday or Disney vacation. The last and the best way I think to do it is by doing both. So for example, you could name one folder family vacation dash Muskoka dash August 2020. That way, anytime that you're searching for something, you could use any of those keywords and the folder will pop up automatically and you don't need to worry about what it is that you name that folder. Now that you have all of your folders in place, you want to go back to that main folder and drag and drop all the appropriate images from that main folder into these subfolders so that it's nice and organized and you don't need to worry about what photo goes where. Once you're at the point where you update all of your files onto these hard drives on a regular basis, it's very easy for you to just name a folder and import these images directly into that folder instead of having to organize things later. By using this technique of the folders and subfolders, it allows you to easily find the images that you're looking for in a systematic way. Set them up however you'd like, but just make sure it's something that is intuitive to you so that when you're looking for your images, you can find them really quickly. You can right click and sort by name, by date, by size, and each method that can kind of help identify and organize the photos once they're in these folders. But if you follow the above steps, you should have no problem finding these images in the future. The last thing you want to remember is that you don't want your favorite images to stay on your hard drive forever. I know you have thousands of images of your family, your kids, your awesome vacation moments that are on your phone and now also safely on your hard drives. I recommend making a routine of reviewing those images and backing them up every couple months and then send those favorites off to your printer. Update your personal albums, your prints on the wall or in your office, or just put them in a memory box of those favorite memories that stand out the most. You definitely don't have to print off every single image, but if you pull a couple from each little folder that you have, you'll have some great printed memories and another copy of your favorite images. 
So now that you know how to back up your photos like a total pro, if you have any specific questions on anything that we covered, I'd love to help. So just shoot me a, an email or drop it in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you need a recommendation on a good hard drive to get, I have a few that I always send over to family and friends when they're asking and when I'm reminding them to back up their own photos. Uh, they're linked in the article below, but then I could also help with any specific questions on that too if you just want to fire away with an email. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.